Hey guys, I hope you can see me. It's Sunday afternoon. Um, I'm quite hungover. Just, I went to a hen do yesterday, which was like, in fact, I'm gonna just spin you around so, so we can sit and chat. Okay, um, yeah, I went on a hen do yesterday, my first ever hen do. It was so much fun, but I am pretty rough today. Um, so I've just been to the shops and things and at home all afternoon now. I'm washing my bedding, I'm going to have a bit of salt out, a clear out, stuff like that. I just went to Westfield, which was very exciting. I bought some new bin bags for the bin. So now the bin can be realised which its full potential once again. Um, they basically code them with letters and it tells you on your bin which letter bin bag yours is and then it fits perfectly. I've got some black bin bag in there at the moment, it's just not cutting the mustard if I'm honest. So I'm thrilled for them. A similar vein, some espresso pods. I bought quite a few, which I always do. Stock me up for a while. So I've got those. I bought some knickers from Marks and Spencers. I am a fan of a thong from a comfort point of view, which may be a shock to some, but I really am. And for some reason, I hate the feeling of if I've got like big knickers on or knickers that cover my bum and denim, I feel like really. Ugh. And Mark and Spencer do the best comfy thongs. They're not particularly sexy. They're literally some of them are literally called the ultimate comfort thong. What a lot of plastic Marks and Spencers with the individual hangers for knickers. They're just like this. Oh, they need some lacy ones. But they always have three for two, or you can get these little packs for um, £12 for five, which are a bit lacy. But they're, they're not super sexy or anything, but they're not, they don't look bad. And they're so comfortable. They wash really well, and they last a lot. But basically, do you ever realise that you just, like, most of the knickers that you're wearing every single day are ones you've had for years? And suddenly you're like, mm, I should probably get some new knickers now. So. The clear out that I'm going to have is only going as far as my new drawer to get rid of some old ones and then have these new ones instead. But yeah, I've got quite a few pairs and I think it came to like £30. It's really good. But these individual plastic hangers for knickers is not good. Ridiculous. So I bought those. Let me just dehanger them all so I'm going to put them away. I'm going to clear out. And I bought also in John Lewis some. Um, Cycle. One second. Okay, I also bought some more makeup and some skincare in John Lewis. All stuff that initially I had sent back around and I'm now repurchasing. So the first is the Nars Laguna bronzer. Nothing exciting, we all know about that. Uh, this is the, my favourite eyebrow gel. Now, this, an hour ago, I sent me this originally and they sent me a loads of different shades, like a clear and two different, three different brown shades. And I just use them all up. There's not no bit of huge difference between the brown shades for me. So I um, I just got it in warm brunette and it's called the Brow Volumizing Fibre Gel. It's so good, really good. I also repurchased my um oh no, it's falling out. The Pie Rose Hip Oil. This is kind of heavy for some people. I've got really sensitive skin and I don't find this heavy. But if my skin is flat, I don't really get breakouts touch wood, but I do get Bouts of sensitivity is the only way I can describe it, where my skin feels more red and just feels more sensitive. This calms it down like nothing else, like it, it, it's the best. It's so good. I don't use it every night, kind of maybe more every other night. It smells really weird. I think a lot of people hate the smell, but it's good. I think it's like 35 pounds, at least two came to 70 pounds, so they're both around 35 pounds. And then this I've never tried before. This is the Instant Calm Redness Serum. Again, the main complaint I have with my skin is redness, especially on and around my nose. If anyone has any general tips for that, like, I'm, I'm constantly sniffy as well. I'm actually wondering if I've got really mild hay fever. I might get some antihistamines, non-drowsy, really light ones, and see if that just generally alleviates it, because I feel like I sniff all the time. Um, and I have just had a cold a bit ago, but I don't know, I'm gonna keep an eye on it, because maybe I have got really mild hay fever and that's the other symptom I'm getting. Um, but anyway, I'm excited to try this. I don't know whether this is more of a morning or night shebang. Um, I think serum, I think I'd go for it in the morning. Um, that's in the French. Cleanse at night. 
Uh, during development, we found the serum alone was most effective if you need extra hydration, follow with one to two pumps of moisturiser. Well, that's interesting. Okay, I'm going to start using it on evenings. I might start alternating between the two. And then I've also massively just really stripped back my morning skin routine to just splashing my face with water, vitamin C serum, and a moisturiser with SPF. Feels very nice and simple. Anyway, that's what I bought at the shops. I'm going to get out. I'm going to go and have a bit of a nipple clear out. And then I'm going to do some work this afternoon in front of the telly. It should be nice. Okay guys, it's Monday um, afternoon now. I've just gotten back in for the most mental day of running around um, and I want to share my outfit before I put my comfies on and had a coffee and course up with you all properly. Uh, so I've decided to keep the Dear Francis kitten heels. So many of you said you liked them and I thought I'm just gonna take the plunge with them and see how they are to wear. So I've just been out in them now. I've been out all morning and I've got the few tubes, walked, I don't know what distance, maybe a total of like, 20-25 minutes, which so not that much, but a fair bit. Um, they're really comfortable. Kitten heels are harder to walk in than I thought they would be. And I'm guessing it's because they're so little, it's like balancing on a stiletto. So I can walk up, like in heels I can't walk at full pace. I can walk at full pace in these, but I wouldn't want to do like an hour's walk into town in them. Um, but they are really comfortable and I think that's more general to kitten heels. They're just kind of a bit of a balancing act. Uh, but not, it's not like when you wear really high heels and all of your legs start to wake. It's not that feeling. Anyway, I really liked the outfit. I styled them with my Arquette jeans. Um, these are the white straight leg ones they have, which I really like. Their straight leg style is quite low rise, so it looks quite different. This is one of the white t-shirts. I didn't mean to just caress my own nipple then, by the way. Um, these are one of the white t-shirts from Testing Basics. It's the And Other Stories one. And then my Frankie Store blazer, which I'm just wearing as much as possible. Any days where it's a little bit cooler I'm wearing, so I get as much wear out of it before it starts to get warmer. And that's me today. I'm going to make my put my comfies on straight away, make myself a coffee, have a piece of fruit, and get on with some work. I've got so much to do. Hey guys, it is nine o'clock and I've just finished working, which is a bit ridiculous. Um, I've just been redesigning my blog and I have completed it. I'm so happy with it. Um, so do go please check it out. The homepage looks almost identical because I was still loving that homepage. Um, just hear emails going off. But the individual posts have changed loads so I can do more with them. I can put video clips in them. I can arrange the pictures in loads of different ways. I can make the ch change the font and where the text. It's just a little bit less uniform. So in theory, I can make every single post look different. I was feeling like my really long blog posts and most of them were becoming really long, especially all the travel ones, which is like endless scrolling through so many pictures. So um, I'm really pleased with that. It's taken me hours and I'm happy to manually transfer it over all my old blog posts obviously i'm not doing all of them and i still have my old blog so all the content still exists so i can still access it but i can't i cannot do every single blog post for the past six years i think i've been blogging now um but i'm just trying to transfer over all the recent ones um and then maybe i don't know maybe i'll buy a new domain that's like my archive or something so if you guys want to go and see the old blog stuff you still could um, I'm going to think about that. Anyway, um, I always redesign and do like move around my domains myself and it makes me so tense because every time I'm like, oh my god, oh if everything disappears. But so far it's all been okay. Uh, I was going to watch Line of Duty but I'm too tired to focus on something that intense. So I'm just going to maybe even just play some Spyro for like an hour, half an hour or so before I go to bed. I really want a hot chocolate but... I can't be bothered going to the shops. So I'm not gonna have one, even though I really want one. Oh, it's a hard life. Good morning, guys. It is um, Tuesday morning. Yes, it's Tuesday morning. I am ready, as you can see, to go to the gym. Again this morning, I'm going like three times a week at the moment. I normally kind of go twice. I always aim for three, but fall short, but this week I'm hitting three. Um, so I'm off to the gym again this morning. All the blog is now live, so I'm really, really, really pleased with that. And so far, you guys are loving it too, so I'm so happy. Um, felt like I was working like loads on it, so I'm really glad that's all done. 
Um, and yeah, I'm really now inspired to do lots of blog posts and just wish I had all the time in the world to sit at home and create content at the moment. Um, but actually I do have quite a bit of time today. I've got to go to the gym and then um, I've got a meeting in town at two. I'm gonna film a come shopping with me denim video today. It won't be that long, I don't think, but I want a new pair of jeans uh, because some of the ones I've got, I just haven't got the perfect pair at the moment that are fitting in the way that I want them to fit because some of the ones that I really love are still a bit too big. And then the newest weekday ones, the Seattle ones I've got, have kind of lost their shape a little bit, which is a real shame. So um, it'll just be high street denim that I'm gonna go look for, I think, but I thought I would film a video about it, that that might be quite interesting, just try on a few different pairs. So I'm gonna do that before my meeting. And then this afternoon, I really need to go to the council to, um, I've got a project coming up with a car, which is really exciting. It's not anything on YouTube, it's all like Instagram stuff with BMW, which I'm so excited about. It's gonna be something really different um, and a really nice challenge to create content in such a different way. So like I said, that's all for Instagram, but the car comes tomorrow and I haven't sorted out a parking permit because I'm waiting for some information from them so I can go to the council and get my parking permit for here. So I need to hopefully get that and then go to the council this afternoon, um, which I'm hoping won't take too long. It won't be like hours of queuing, but we'll see. So that closes at five, so I need to be back over here and there before then to get that all sorted. So I have everything for tomorrow. I'm cutting it so incredibly fine with this. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do if I don't sort it out today, but we'll just have to jump that bridge if and when we get to it, but hopefully we won't. I also desperately, um, oh, things caught, need to call the um, framers and ask how much, in fact, I'm gonna do that while I'm walking call the framers and ask how much they think it would be to frame each of these so I can decide whether I'm framing them or not depending on how much it will cost and then get them on the wall. I've got loads of little bitty things that I need to do basically in my life which I haven't had time to do for ages and now I have time I'm putting them all off. So isn't that great? But I really need to get these on the wall because at the moment they're just stacked around the room and look a bit strange. Hey guys, I'm back from the gym. It was, oh what's going on here? It was so hard. So hard. Now I'm just going to make myself a smoothie that I make when I've got back. I used to buy this at the gym when it was framed but it shut so now I go to a different gym, same personal trainer but a different gym and they don't sell, sell smoothies I've been making my own. So I put in a banana, kind of like three quarters of one. This one's nice and ripe. Mm. Oh, it's not really ripe. I added a couple of prunes or dates to this to make it sweeter but when it's ripe it's sweet enough. Mm. And then I'm going to put in a couple of spoons full of some jumbo oats to make it nice and thick. And then this protein powder, a whey one, which is chocolate. Now, this is too sweet for me, which is so annoying because you get so much in a bag and it's not cheap. So I need to get a vanilla one because I can't bear the taste of having loads of it in there. So I'm probably not putting quite enough in. I just put a spoonful rather than using the scoop it comes with. Because otherwise it's just so chocolatey and so sweet. Because it's like an artificial chocolate flavour, it's not that nice. So I need to go and get a vanilla one, I think that will be. It means I can put more protein powder in so I'm getting more protein, but still enjoy the taste. And then just some flax seeds. Again, just a spoonful. Those. And then I'm going to put in a spoonful of almond butter. This is really filling as well, this smoothie. Like, I always have this after the gym. Um, Nutrition-wise, I wouldn't want to say that it classes as a meal. I'm not a nutritionist. I don't want to make a statement like that. But it fills me up as much as eating breakfast. As if I had, like, porridge or something for breakfast would do. So this will... I'll probably have a snack before lunch, but let's keep them going for a while. And I've just filled that up with some almond milk. Just unsweetened kind. And I mix it all up in my thing. In my little smoothie thing. It looks, oh, Christ's sake. It looks nice and gross in the end. Nice, but 
but yeah, the protein powder is the only thing letting it down. I also want to get some maca to have in it. Um, because that's just good for you, but I think you need to only put a tiny amount in because I believe too much completely ruins the flavour of stuff. dressed like I own an artist's studio somewhere um, but I like this outfit. This is an old shirt from And Other Story. I got it last winter so not, not the winter just gone before that. Um, I'll see if they have something similar and if they do I shall link it. My trousers are my new-ish wool ones from Ray. I really 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 like these trousers. They're such a nice length and fit and everything. They've got like a twisted seam so the detailing's lovely. They're my Manolo Blahnik shoes which I'm still breaking in and I'm getting there with them slowly but surely. And I'm just going to take my Sophie Hume bolt bag I think but I very like, I very much like this outfit. I feel very chic indeed so that's nice. I must try and find a mirror somewhere to take a photo of it. Okay guys I'm back in now having been shopping, had my meeting, just made myself some healthy dinner which is um Sorry, this camera strap's very tangled up. So the healthy dinner is some carrots with creme fraiche, some tom cherry tomatoes with basil and truffle oil, some beetroot and feta cheese, some sweet potato, and then some pickled onions because I love a pickled onion. Very good. Just making myself some tea. I've been having a really hard time falling asleep recently. Since I got back from New York, but it shouldn't be jet lag still a week on. And I got given this when I went on that trip with Kerastas when mum was here. This is in the room, this sweet lullaby tea. I'm just making myself some of that um, to see if it helps me nod off. But the past few nights I've sort of been working right up until I fall asleep, which obviously doesn't help anything. Whereas, oh, that cupboard needs some TLC. Whereas this week, today I've stopped like maybe two hours ago. I've been playing on Spyro and just switching off a bit. So I'm hoping that helps me because I've been lying in bed, in bed tossing and turning for like two hours. Um, for the past few nights every time I get into bed which isn't the worst thing I find when I do that I, I just overthink so much that I find so many things to worry about so I'm kind of feeling oddly anxious today but I know it's because of that because I've just not been sleeping that well and then getting myself all in a hoo-ha because you're just lying there with nothing else to do but to think about things so probably did that wrong that tea but it looks like it's kind of instantly got a bit of colour on it. This teapot's from the White Company a long time ago if you're interested. I might just leave it to steep a little bit longer. I'm just playing Spyro. Maybe while we wait we can do this level together. Does anyone text me? No, no one loves me. It's okay though. Right, let me just, where can I pop you? Right, this is some serious multitasking. Got you guys balanced between my legs. And what you've got to do in these levels is, sorry the dishwasher's really loud by the way, is get, oh my god, it's gonna, it's gonna go out of focus but I simply cannot do everything at once. So you've gotta get through these red hoops first. You've gotta try and get everything on the, wait this focus is gonna annoy me. Okay, okay, and now I'm moving on to these. And each time you go through one you get more, more time, two more seconds. But 
the trick is to get every single one of these things in one level and that's what's really tricky so I, this bit I've mastered as you can tell and then I'm onto the boats these little guys which is way harder than other bits because like, you've got to go skim the water but you don't want to fall in the water because if you go in the water you'll die oh, damn missed him and the time is so tight you can't afford to make mistakes like I just did then it's probably going to cost me a lot guys oh my god two more where are they one here he is two Ooh. okay and now I've got to get the the cars these guys oh my god no I missed him this is good we're gonna die oh. let's go finish this tea there is the tea it tastes very chamomile -y, but it's quite nice and the candle I'm burning over there if you're interested is the laboratory's amber candle which is just one of my all-time favorites it's so good hey guys Ooh, it is Thursday morning half nine I'm on the way to the gym and then shooting later today it's gorgeous weather right now which isn't normal which is so annoying and I'm a bit stressed out this morning for no real reason just one of those mornings where I feel like I've got more to do than humanly possible but we should get there I need to go buy a second set to the gym to pick up some films for shooting today and I've had to bring shooting forward because it's going to piss it down with rain all afternoon so I need to shoot some stuff before that happens. This car I was telling you about arrived yesterday um, and I went on a really long two hour drive last night which was so lovely. I enjoyed it so much so I'm going to show you that later and then um, I think Lindsay and I might go swimming and we're definitely going to go and drive to Soho Farmhouse tomorrow and work there to get the rest of it. Um, but yes in the meantime I need to get to Lindsay and get to the gym. I'm back at home. Just gonna make my smoothie and then get ready to shoot because Isaac's getting here at 12. It's currently about quarter past 11. So I need to get a move on and get showered, ready, everything out that I need to shoot. Woo! The gym was hard today. Hard but good. Always the best combination. Um, and yeah, I'm feeling extremely stressed out to the point where I can't remember what if I even said this to you already. Like, I feel really stressed out, but for no particular reason. Like, I wrote down all my work stuff earlier, and I'm on everything's fine. I'm just stressed and like a bit anxious. I basically feel quite frantic with everything. I can't sit still. Um, and I think the one thing I need to do is sit still and then that's going to make me calm down a bit. Um, but I don't know if something's in retrograde because I saw Lynn's yesterday and she's really out of sorts as well. So I feel like maybe something's going on with the planets. <laughs> Please tell me there is so I can put it down to that because like even now I can, I can just tell how I am really all over the place and it's horrible. Um, and I think when I'm like this I'm also not the most fun to be around. <laughs> Because I'm like the whole time. Mm. I went on a drive last night, like I said. I miss driving so much. So, so much. You guys know how much I love walking everywhere, but just, oh, damn it, I'm going to put some water in this. Just nothing quite compares to driving around. Like, I, I can't tell you how much I miss it. So it was so nice, just went on a two hour drive, I drove out, just drove aimlessly for an hour. Then when it got to an hour, just put my sat nav on to come back home. And it was so good, it really made me just, you obviously have to be a bit still and focusing on one thing when you're driving. So it was so good, so I might try to do that again tonight. I'm gonna to show you guys the car later. It's absolutely ridiculous. Like I've never driven a car like this before. It's a BMW 8 series convertible. The, last, the first car I ever had was a Fiat 500. And then after that, those of you might remember I had a Mercedes A-Clan, which I loved. This is just something else. It's so over the top, but it is amazing. 
Hey guys, it's later on now. I've finished shooting and I've just been to pick look at my fringe. I've just been to pick up a few parcels in various locations. Um one of them was an under the stories delivery. Um and I thought I'd show you the not under the stories, sorry, Arquette delivery um of things that they have sent me. They sort of do monthly gifting. Um, and you pick stuff online yourself. So I thought I'd show you some of the things because it's been a really good little batch. The first of which is this blazer. I don't know how many of you will remember the Tibby blazer that I have with um, the checks on it, but this is really similar. It's like the same blue and yellow shades. Um, I've gone two sizes up. So this is um, a size 38. So no, actually that's just one size up. So yeah, they've just gone one size up. Um, and I just love how boxy the fit is and it's like a really nice spring texture. We also got the trousers in it, which I'm gonna try on now and show you them all together. So these are the trousers. They come up super short on me. They are described as cropped online, so I was expecting that. Um, I don't honestly think I'd wear it as a suit together, maybe for like a fun shoot or styling something fun, but I think I'm going to get more wear out of them separately. Just hang that there for now. Um, yeah, these these are like a really, really nice fit. Um, if anything, they're a bit tight over my bum. But these are my normals. These are 34 and I always am a 34 in our cut. Trousers, because they tend to fit quite wide on the on the waist. Um, but I really like the print of these and everything um, and yeah they look really good with just a nice white t-shirt and my super goes or just some sort of a canvas trainer but yeah I think the blazers are be the better option from the suit and I'm not sure that I would wear them together. Okay I love this navy blue skirt and um, oh my gosh I'm accidentally zooming there but that's kind of zoomed okay but it's actually zoomed to the perfect place it's this navy blue skirt with lots of buttons on it so it's got two buttons there two at the front two there um, and it's such a nice length like it's not too short because i've got such long thighs sometimes a normal length skirt on me is just indecently short and i really like super mini things like i, I like having something super short on but um sometimes it's just not always the most practical day to day Whereas this is such a nice length, um, I feel like this with some ballet flats, I've actually just ordered some ballet flats in the hope to become Jane Birkin um, from And Other Stories. So I think this will look really nice with them or my Manolo Blahnik slip-ons or just again some trainers or some slides or something. Um, yeah, I really like this skirt, kind of feels quite smart, I think it would definitely be too short to wear in an office, I mean depending on how relaxed your office um dress code is but it, it's I'd still say this is mini which I would never really associate with workwear but it has quite a smart officey vibe which is really nice I'm really pleased with this and the last thing is just some comfy slouchy round the house shorts these are like just a really classic um sweat pant material in grey with the drawstring waist and things um, I wear these around the house but these are the, the kind of thing I want to take on holiday a lot with me just to slip on by the pool or to go to the beach um, you just you know to kind of make your comfies also work for beach wear basically and I just feel like it's a, even I would even wear this like on holiday with some slides like a strappy top and some really nice strappy slides sandals or something and um, all those dear Francis black flip flops um, I wouldn't actually just stick these around the house, I'd have them for like casual holiday looks but for now as I'm not going on holiday just yet, um, they shall be around the house shorts but yeah they're really nice and soft and everything. Hey guys, it's Saturday morning, I'm just popping you down on the bars on which you normally sit. Um, I have just been out running errands, it's so cold today, it's gone back down to like 6 degrees or something and all that's about. Freezing, hence the knitwear. Um, but I just went and just had a couple of. Well, I'm going to show you what I did um, this morning. And I am now at home for the next few hours. I'm going to show you this car as promised. It's literally out on the road, so I'm going to show you that. I'm just making myself some porridge and some breakfast first, um, and then we shall do all of those things. Um, yeah, do that porridge because it's wholesome. Just making it with some almond milk. 
So this morning I went to, I was invited to an appointment with SkinCeuticals at this um, dermatologist place that they have near Vauxhall um, that do like these custom dose serum things for you. So I've had one made up, I'm going to show you it but I'm not really going to talk about it until I've, until I've tried it to whether or not I recommend the service or not but I'll show you it. They like um, make the box up for you and everything. So it has my name on it, SkinCeuticals for Lizzie. Um, the, the place that did it was called the U Udello. Udello, what is it? This, I have no idea whether this is focusing because I can't see the screen, but that's hoping it was. Um, and this is a, I mean, I can't even tell you what's in it because it just is, well, I can tell you the formula, which you'll have just seen then. But I meant to use it on evenings, but slowly incorporate it. So I'm going to start using it like twice a week, maybe. I'm really liking that pie one. So I think I might actually wait a few weeks. I'll start using this and give the pie one chance to to really set, you know, see what that one's doing to my skin. But it looks like this. I really like SkinCeuticals as a brand. I've used this before and it's really good. So I'm hoping it should be good. I just thought it was quite interesting that they're doing these like personalized ones. This was a press thing, so I didn't pay for it, so I don't know how much it is. But I would imagine pretty expensive knowing how expensive SkinCeutical stuff is also. Um, but yeah, I, um, I'm excited to give it a go, but I think like I just said, I might wait a bit. I also went and bought some shoesies from Jimmy Choo. Um, I've got a hen do this weekend and then two weddings in the summer and I really wanted some new like strappy black heels that weren't too high so I could dance all night in them and saw these on Jimmy Choo. Now I was given a press discount with these, I got 30% off them but the rest I paid for myself but that's kind of a pretty sizable discount. Um, the lady, I just went to the New Bond Street sh shop, the ladies in there were so lovely. It's a really lovely staff. Um, oh Christ, I can't get into this. The shoes that I got, I tried on a few pairs. I tried on some like really super high heels, but it's completely defeats the object of what I want these for, which is to dance all night in and be comfortable and like wear on holidays and walk around a lot. So, layers upon layers upon layers upon layers of packaging. These are them. They are an 85mm heel, which I think is perfect because it still looks nice and high. And as you can see, it's a bit of a thick heel. It's not a proper stiletto. With all of these amazing leather straps. And then it's quite a long extra bit. Um, I will put them on for you once I've had my porridge. It's got quite a lot of extra. So you can really wrap it up your legs or just tie it around your ankles. Um, but I just thought they were, you know, really good heels for a wedding and dancing. Like I said, I'll show you them on properly shortly. I still haven't fully got my outfits for these weddings, which is kind of annoying. I might have a bit of a look online this morning, actually, and see. I've got a skirt to wear for one, and I might wear those mulberry linen trousers for another. But other than that, I'm struggling a bit. So I'm finding things. I don't really want to go spend a fortune on, like, a skirt and trousers I don't mind, because I'll wear them both again. But I don't really want to spend a fortune on a dress that I just won't necessarily wear them again or if I do not enough really to warrant something expensive but anyway I need a glass of water before I think about any of that and um, yesterday and I went to Sipo Farmhouse which was lovely for the day that's why I wasn't vlogging yesterday because I was there all day mm. and then I went out for dinner with Laura and caught up with her in the evening which was also lovely and then later on today, Lindsay and I are going for a work drink and then uh, we're going out for dinner with her I went for dinner with her and Brittany and Brittany's staying over and we're going to Brighton tomorrow for Live Purposes Hendu, which is so exciting. But I'm going to finish off this vlog this morning when I'm at home and then, um, yeah, I won't, I won't vlog the Hendu. It doesn't seem like an appropriate thing to do at all for somebody else's special day, but I can't wait for it. It's going to be so, so nice. And that's pretty much everything. I've got to update you on right now. Me and Lynn's bought some of these from um, M&S the other day. Oh my god, they're like crack. These have to be the best biscuits that you can buy. Like, I can't think of a better biscuit. Dipped in a cup of tea. I might have to have some of that after my porridge. 
minute headspace at the moment where I just cannot be asked. Like, I'm still getting stuff done, but I just can't be asked. That's how I feel. Um, uh, these um, canvases were all still here when I rang the framers that I've taken stuff to previously, which is just at Notting Hill, near the tube station. And they had said they thought it was going to be 150 each. I've got six of them, so that's 900 pounds. Which is more like, if I had a really big piece, I've, I've, like to frame that blue one above the thing was around 600 pounds. So I sort of had that in my head of framing six things. And to me, that was worth spending that much money. But these are the ones that I did that took like 10 minutes to do. I don't want to spend nearly a grand framing them. I just don't. Um, so I really need to go to one out of town. And because I've got the car, that's easy to do. And I've been looking at some. And there's some that are like a 25-minute drive away. So I really should just get in the car, drive there, show them them, get a quote, and make a decision there and then. But I literally cannot be asked. You know that feeling, like all I want to do is play on Spyro and sit here and I just can't bother to do stuff but it's not a nice feeling because if I just did it I'd feel so much better because then it would just, things would start to be getting done and at the moment nothing's getting done and I've got such a busy week, I haven't really got time to do it. This is all very complaining and I'm sorry for that but you know sometimes I hope you can relate to this feeling when you just can't be asked to do little odd jobs like that, just errandy jobs. Okay guys, I have got no idea how well you can see anything there, but we're in the car, we're going to go on our way, it's a sunny day, so I think I've said this is the new convertible, like, whoa, not right now DJ Gallard, not another one. Um, let me just try and... Let me just let me just hope that here is a good angle. I have, I have no idea. There is a downside to not having a screen on a thing. Right, let's get the heated seat on. Let's get, there's a heater here, which is excessive, in the back of the thing. So if you do want to drive with the roof down, even though it's not that warm, you can do. Let's get the heater down. I'm just going to send a video to Ben as well of this. <laughs> oh yeah we are just a video to bed we are cooking on all burners now turn the heat up a little bit I'm gonna put my playlist on this has been an absolute disastrous plan it was meant to take me 20 minutes is that I've said oh sorry the phone's tilted it meant to take me 20 minutes it's currently I set off at 12.30, no I didn't, I set off at 12.15, it's currently 1.15 and I'm still 20 minutes away because it's just stood still traffic. So I've had to abandon this plan because I'm literally not going to be able to get home and get ready in time to go out for 3 o'clock at this rate. It takes me another 20 minutes at least and then all the time to get back. So I've literally just driven, it's not even been a nice drive, I've just been sat in traffic for an hour. <laughs> Which is so annoying, so 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 annoying. Thankfully, the cars love this drive, but just in London, it's just something else. The traffic is mental. So we're abandoning ship. I'm just slouched, and so you can see my face. We're abandoning ship, and I'm heading back home, which is probably going to take me another hour. So I'll be then I'll just have to have a quick spruce up and head straight back out. Um, Actually, that's that's a slight lie. I'm just nipping off. I'm just going to stop in my way at a parcel pickup shop, which is kind of out of the way, which is probably going to make things even longer. Um, I ordered some ballet pumps online. I put this on Instagram stories, actually, from and other stories, and they've just arrived at the parcel shop, so I'm going to go get those now. But this has just put me in the worst mood when I couldn't be asked to do it anyway. I haven't even managed to do the thing I came out to do. And it's just put me in a bad mood and <laughs> made me feel frustrated with the whole thing because you could have just sat at home, enjoyed a few cups of tea, played Spyro and just had a chilled weekend. I don't know what is wrong with me at the moment. I'm so just annoyed with the world this week. I'm really that way out. It's not very pleasant at all, but I feel like we all go through these phases and you know when you just feel like certain things are stacked against you. It's kind of how I feel at the moment. I would have loved a chilled time in. This should have just been an hour's round trip, sorted, not an hour, and I haven't even bloody well done it. Sorry for winching. I really just, yeah. Still stuck in bloody traffic. Right, we are moving somewhat. Honestly, let me turn right here. Yeah. 
Right, if these traffic lights go red, they didn't. It's okay, because you wouldn't want them to know what I've done. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I wouldn't have done anything bad. <laughs> um, what else? Nothing else, really. Just like this shit. <laughs> but yeah, the car is absolutely under drive. It's automatic, which is like, I do generally prefer driving with gears. And I've always owned car. The two cars I've ever had have always been geared cars. But it's really nice when this is the plus side about being in traffic when you have a car with an automatic because it's so much easier to stop start traffic but yeah it's absolutely lovely to drive and put the roof back up just because I was getting stressed <laughs> it was and the wind wasn't helping me out with that okay memory card on the camera's full so I'm just quickly using my phone again to show you my outfit as I'm nipping out for a drink and I'm late I've got dual boots on the weekday lark jeans the new ones I got the other day a t-shirt long sleeve t-shirt from Carhartt which is men's and then my Massimo duty trench and I'm gonna take my Celine bag just nipping out for a drink and I'll be back soon to properly sign off this vlog but that journey took so long it's completely set my day sideways so I need to rush back home now he's here sat on my sofa hello everyone she's here to sign off the vlog for me thank you so much for watching this week it's been an absolute pleasure as always i hope you all have the best best week and i'll catch you back here next time <laughs>